So what has happened till now under this revise? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sarama Bhatta Bhattacharya met. And Sarama Bhattacharya wanted to do, teach Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, the Vedanta in all affection. Thinking he is a young sannyasi. He needs all this knowledge to maintain principles of sannyasa machine. How in young age he will be able to do that? So therefore he wanted to. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu agreed and they all both went to Jagannath Puri Temple. And there, Sarabhata Acharya, for seven days, just like we gather every day, yes, we are morning to evening, for seven days, uh, how many days? Seven days only? Like Bhagavatam, this is also seven days. For seven days, he heard the Bhashya on Vedanta by Sarabhata Acharya. This Bhashya was based on Shankaracharya, Sharivika Bhashya. The explanation to him by Shankaracharya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was silent. He did not say anything. And after seven days, Samarabh Bhattacharya said that, why are you maintaining so much silence? Are you able to understand anything? And if you don't understand, why don't you ask a question? You just sit silently for seven days. Every day I speak all Vedanta. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, I am a fool. I don't understand. You are telling that it is good for me, I am listening, but I am so very advanced. So, Sarumbhat Acharya said, if you don't understand, why don't you ask a question then? Okay, why don't you clarify? If you don't understand something, ask. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu reveals his mind. He said, I know the Vedanta Sutra and its correct meaning, but your meaning, I don't agree. It is agitating my mind, this meaning of Vedanta Sutra. Sarma Bhattacharya said, so, what is your explanation? Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, see, the first mistake you are doing is that you are interpreting the sutras. You are not giving the direct meaning. Just like the Vedanta Sutra, the Vedas say, cow dung is pure. Now, cow dung is actually a stool of the hand. Any stool, if you touch, you have to take part immediately. Okay? But here, this looks like a contradiction. Vedas say, if you touch any stool, take part. But cow dung is pure. You can bathe the Lord also. The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu takes the example is that whatever the Vedas say, has to be accepted. You cannot interpret them. Oh, it is cow dung. So now it looks little odd. So let me not let you adjust. Cow dung means something, something, something. Go to something. Take some second meaning. So Chaitanya Baba said, you are actually you are hiding the real meaning of the Vedanta Sutra. First part he puts. The second part Chaitanya Baba says, God is a personality. So nicely it is explained throughout the Vedic literature. And he starts explaining why you are hiding that. The beautiful personality of God. And what is transforming in this world is not God, but God's energy. There are two things they discuss Parinama Vada and Vivarta Vada. Vivarta Vada is a theory of illusion, basically, that the, uh, the God is transformed into this world. And Parinama Vada is that which we all follow, that God's energy has transformed. God is not transformed. I gave a simple example. You take a sheet of paper, you make 16 pieces out of it. Paper is finished. The difference of the God, this manifestation came, God is finished. But where is the mistake? Mistake is this, the God is not like a paper. Even though millions of things come out of him, he still remains as he is. Because there is a mistake. The point is that, okay, that's a very big point. It's a philological, philosophical point. You can use, from analogy, you cannot know the truth. If you know the truth, you can use analogy. Even the scientists, there are at least we have a variety of rules. We had this, many at least given the time of uh, Lord Krishna, there's five philosophers apart from Veda Vyasa, all, all the five are at least. Jaimini and XYZ, all five of them. The five different 
philosophy is a proponent. If you see, minority all are Gnostic. They don't accept the personality of God. And then, uh, even in the modern time, we have the Buddhist philosophy, which is also atheism. Then we have Mayavada atheism. Now we have modern science atheism. These are all different varieties of atheism. I mean, daily from time immemorial. It's nothing new. Today only their number is more. Otherwise, atheists are always there. This word is placed for Nata Korda Korda. In a jail, you find all the crazy people. You will not find gentlemen. Correct? So, people you will find who don't want to disobey the king in the jail. It's definitely, we find people who have no interest to know the personality of the law. They are very attracted to any philosophy that says king doesn't exist. They are very attracted. In this world, people are very attracted to this teaching. So then, Chedar Mahaprabhu you know, spends time explaining that Svivartha uh, Vada is not carrying. And then he said that in the Vedas, the main word is O, because every verse starts with O. Now, Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, Pranava Sarva Vedesha, this O refers to me. Done. But Shankaracharya does not focus on this main word. He rather takes a, you know, like a second statement, which is not a very fact. It just says Tattva Masi, which is not a Mahavakya of the Vedas. You are that. It is mentioned that you are not the body or spirit. He makes that as the main thing taught in the Vedas, which is just the beginning in the Bhagavad Gita yesterday also. I am not body and spirit, soul is not the end, it is the beginning of spiritual knowledge. After that, knowledge of God comes and relation between soul and God comes. Spiritual knowledge in Bhagavad Gita also, you see in the second chapter, Krishna begins his teaching. First thing Krishna says, you are not the body, you are a spirit, soul. Then, the dynamics of the soul in relation to the Lord is explained. So that is going on. So this is as much as happened. Take it. Now let us proceed and I hope that we finish today. This beautiful finish is so nice. Acharya Radho Shanahi Isha Agna Haila Ateva Kalpana Kari Nastika Shasra Kaila. Actually, there is no fault on the part of Shankaracharya. He simply carried out the order of the Supreme Personality of God. He had to imagine some kind of interpretation. And therefore, he presented a kind of Vedic scripture that is full of atheism. Straight from Chaitanya's mouth, atheism. Is atheism. In fact, both Buddha and Shankaracharya, we accept them and we reject their philosophy. We accept Shankaracharya, Shiva himself, but we reject his philosophy because it was spoken a specific order. Similarly, Buddha, so we accept Buddha as an incarnation, a directly incarnation of Vishnu, but we reject his philosophy. We don't have this philosophy. Because these are all according to you know, time, sometimes, say, child is saying. Okay? And you tell him you have to take medicine. He will not take, he will cry. What do you do? You give him some, you know, put it in some sweet, you get the medicines also. Some sweet you take. That is called a chala dharma. You know, you are cheating him for his own good. So at a time, these things for upa dharma and chala dharma are needed. Upa dharma means basically it tells you to be nice, be good. This is for idiots. And most of the people are attracted to only that much. See, those people who are sitting on the mental platform, they are only attracted to this be nice, be good. Uh, so, mostly people in this world like all this kind of upadharma. Upadharma means just like both this be nice, don't hurt other person. Uh, so, at that level. He had to imagine some kind of interpretation and therefore he presented a kind of Vedic scripture that is full of atheism. Now, this is the quotation from Padma Purana. Swagamai Kalpita Estramcha. Swagamai Kalpita is Tamcha Janama Madhubi Bukhan Guru Mamacha Gopaya Inasna Shishri Shutaro Addressing Lord Shiva, the Supreme Personality of God had said, Please make the general populace averse to me by imagining your own interpretation of the Vedas. Also, cover me in such a way that people will take more interest in advancing material civilization just to propagate a population bereft of spiritual knowledge. And we have to spend time understanding why did Krishna order this? See, it's like this Krishna does not give bhakti easily. Krishna reveals himself only through his devotees. 
anybody trying to understand spiritual knowledge without the help of a devotee, there are hooks. You will attract on the way. You will attract on the way. Unless we have faith in a pure devotee and we take a shelter, you will not be able to ever understand Krishna. You know, anybody approaching without the help of a pure devotee, there are some traps. You will be caught. Only person who actually reaches Krishna's lotus feet is who is really sincere. Really sincere. Because Krishna does not give bhakti easy. Rather, Krishna's energy they shall hide Krishna. Bhagavad Gita has said, no? What does it say? Avajana di manuta manushanta manushanta. And there is one more place that is said, no? Yoga maya. I am covered by my yoga maya. What is the shloka? Naham prakasha sarvasya yoga maya samadhata. I am not visible to everybody. Why? My own energies are hiding. So in that sense, Krishna orders Shankaracharya. Yes. So if most of the people get trapped by the philosophy, I know Shiva is very intelligent. You can't even imagine how intelligent she is. Much intelligent than Brahma. Correct? He just Shiva Tattva is almost Vishnu. And what you can you know, his word jugglery, people get immediately. Correct, correct. You can see. Practically. Yesterday I was telling sometimes they say, why we always keep hitting again in personal? And that is what the 99% world is following today. Even if they follow something of so-called spiritualism. So this is a quotation of Padma Purana, Uttar Khanda 62.31. This is a very famous verse. Maya Vadana Sharshasram Maya Vadana Prakshamna Bauda Mochate Maya Vahitam Devi Kalo Brahmana Murtine Okay, so it's basically easy. Maya Vada means this is the philosophy called Maya Vada. This word is not we invented. Veda Vyasa is forecasting this philosophy is going to come in Padma Purana. It is there. And he's saying this philosophy will be known as Maya Vada. Basically, the problem is they say God also becomes covered of Maya, which we as devotees find is very offensive. I don't care. When Krishna comes to this word, he is not covered of Maya. Krishna is master of Maya. They say Krishna has also become the influence of Maya. Therefore, their philosophy is called Maya Vada. Maya Vada Asat Shasra. Asat means, Sat means truth. Asat means false. It's a false scripture. Imagine the Veda Vyasa's analysis. Prachamna Bhavada Mochate. It is just hidden Buddhism. Almost it is Buddhism. It's also another variety of basically atheism. Therefore, it is called Prachana Bodhamacha. Buddha said, you know, after you die, nothing is there, there is only dark and shunya. Shankaracharya said, not shunya, there is Brahman, spirit. He brought in reincarnation, he brought in the Vedic literatures because knowledge of the soul comes in some, he took up some Upanishads, and that's it. He commented. Mayai Vihitam Yei Devi Kalo Brahmana Murthi. I am going to do this, he says, in a Brahmana form. That is referring to Shankaracharya. Lord Shiva informed God as Durga, the superintendent of the middle world, right? the Bible. In the age of Kali, I take the form of Brahmana and explain the Veda through false scriptures and atheistic way, similar to the Buddhist philosophy. And he was effective, Buddhists were wiped out of India, you know, whole India, because the patronage of Ashoka was covered with Buddhism. But after Shankaracharya, they all ran away. Either they got convinced, converted to Shankara philosophy, or they ran out of India. But they had no faith in it. Thoroughly their philosophy he debated. So he had a role to play. It's not that he came to sleep, but you know, we don't understand sometimes. So he has said, yes, I am there and you know, Lord is there, but what is the distinction he has not told? The word Brahmana Murtina in this verse refers to the founder of the Mayavada philosophy, Shankaracharya, who was born in a Malabar district of southern India. Interestingly, all the five Acharyas in Kaliyuga, important Acharyas, come from South India. Four Vaishnava Acharya and Shankar Acharya. Mayavada philosophy states the Supreme Lord and immigrated in the cause of manifestation about transformation of the illusory energy. To support the atheistic theory, the Mayavadis cite false scriptures, which make people bereft of transcendent knowledge and addicted to fruitive activities and mental speculation. People are addicted to the children. One thing, fruitive activity. They do activity for their own sense gratification. If they come out of it, 
mental speculation. Without any respect for the Vedic literatures, they just imagine whatever they want. And that is fine. I thought like that. Who cares about you? That's what you But they use just like an ant is there. No. The ant cannot understand what we are discussing. Can it understand? Now you have to go and tell the ant that we are discussing Chaitanya Charitamita, discussion between Sarva Bhattacharya and what it can understand. Similarly, we are also too small to understand the whole plan of the Lord. Uh, we are very fortunate actually. This verse, actually this is called Shabda, this faith does not come, it's not a joke. Faith in the lotus feet of Krishna. Uh, we, we are saying uh, Mahaprasade Govinda Vichayana, what is the meaning of that? That is the one thing everybody learns first. <laughs> in fact, uh, I remember my devotee is telling me, he was from Dubai, we are also active. Some of you have gone to Dubai. Yes. Dubai very active. Estrogen and Japa Martha. So he went to Dubai and they had a nice gathering. He later joined us in Bangalore. So he was telling that uh, I was little, few learning. And he came in and he wanted to eat prasad. So when he paying obeisance to Prabhupada, instead of Prabhupada Pranam Mantra, he was chanting Mahaprasad. That's the first thing everybody learns. So, what is the meaning of that? Not everybody knows. Mahaprasada, Govinda, Nama, Brahmana, Vaishnava. These five things. You don't develop faith by little punya. You did a lot of punya. Not this punya of doing good to others. It's rubbish. There is not that kind of punya. That kind of punya will not lead you anywhere. There are three kind of punyas. This is the punya which is, Bhaktivara uh, Thakur explained, this is the punya which is leading to devotion service. And he has given some spare terms for that. Uh, the punya, which is actually referring to, uh, uh, which leads us to devotion service. In some sense, a gas would be in other sense, some kind of devotion service. And then that is done, but little will not give you faith, that it is sufficient. Then, therefore, our process begins with <laughs> service to the Lord. Otherwise, it will not open up. And not only doing devotion service, doing it proper consciousness. Just like you bathe the deities and you dress it with proper consciousness. You get the same experience again after Chinese history. So much pleasure. You cook for the Lord, it mostly when you cook for the Lord. You come out of cooking, no pleasure. You cook for the Lord, oh, so what an opportunity to cook for the Lord. You feel the same experience as you feel after any Krishna conscious activity. Probably the nine elements of Krishna conscious are there. Any one of them can take us back to Krishna. Correct? But among them, definitely Shamadam is number one. But it's on the other side. Unimportant. And in practice spiritual life actually, there are two markers. One is Bhagavad Vidhi, one is Panchayatra Vidhi, Erudhita. Bhagavad Vidhi is uh, Shavadam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. You know, no, Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Kirtanam, Kirtanam, Spuchanagita. Smaranam. Repeating, we are thinking. Vichara Martin, Krishna head there. Right. Shavadam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. Aale, Nala Kide. Pancharatra Vidhi. Then four are there, Pancharatra Vidhi. What are they? Pada Sevan. Krishna's golden spirit, we are putting Tulusi. Tulusi. Uh, for the, uh, then Arjuna, Arti. Arti doing and watching. Everybody uh, equal. Then, well, then offering prayers, Allah Kirtan. Uh, anyway, we are also offering obeisance, offering prayers to the Lord. Then, Dasya, as to temple where Allah comes up, we are cleaning the temple. Prabhupada said, don't think person who is cleaning the temple is lower than one who is dressing. Both are equal for the Lord. Correct? Lord is absolute, not the lower. So therefore, any activity, this all four form Pancharatra Vidhi. Rest to work for Raghavanga Bhakti, they are not to do for us. We are Sakya Manapani Vidhi. Today, if you even think about that, we hypocrisy. Completely surrendering ourselves to the Lord and thinking Lord is my friend. We can think about that. Thinking is not a problem, but you can't act on that. A very advanced consciousness. That, that is part of Raganuga Bhakti. Today, what Bhakti we are in is called Sadhana Bhakti. In Sadhana Bhakti, these two things have to go parallel. One side we do Bhagavad Vidhi, the Shavana Kirtana Smarana, one side we do Pancharatra Vidhi. See, both is there. We had Arti, we had Kirtan, both we are doing. So, this is very important that both should go on. People make mistakes either this side or this side. Most of the temples we go in India, only Pancharatra Vidhi. 
no Bhagavata Vidhi goes on. Therefore, it is not good. And sometimes some people only Bhagavata Vidhi, no Panchadatta Vidhi. Prabhupada says Bhagavata Vidhi, theoretical Panchadatta Vidhi is practical, practical devotions of which we are doing. So both are important for our spiritual advancement. Mm. But let's come back to my moving like Sarvamo Shuni Bhatta Charya Haila Parama Vismita Mukena Nisare Vani Haila Stambhika Sarva Bhattacharya became very astonished after hearing this. He became stunned and said nothing. Prabhu Kahe Bhatta Charya Nakara Vismaya Bhagavane Bhakti Parama Guru Shartanaya Lord Sri Chaitanya then told them, do not be astonished, actually devotional service under the Supreme Personality Godhead is the highest perfection of human activity. Now this is actually a big blow for him because whom he is holding on, Vedas has discredited him, who is the final authority. So it's already now. Now Atma Rama Prayanta Prayanta Kare Ishwara Bhajana Aiche Achintya Bhagavane Raguna Angana even the self-realized sages perform devotional service to the Supreme Lord. Such are the transcendental qualities of the Lord. They are full of inconceivable spiritual potential. Now, this is a very famous verse from Bhagavad Gita. We will chant this verse. Atma Rama Shamunyo, Nirgranta Purukrame, Ruvanti Hai to Gim Bhakti, Nirgranta Purukrame, Nirgranta Purukrame, Nirgranta Purukrame, so basically it means Atma Rama is a person who is self-satisfied. That is one of the meanings. There are many meanings of this word. And Munaya, Muna means the sage. And there are still more meanings. Because Chaitanya will do that now. Chaitanya here gives him certain number of explanations. But at, at Varanasi when he had discussed that he gave 64 explanations. For this so each word he gave many many meanings. Niragrantha, I have given the simplest meaning which is there in the Bhagavata. Atma Rama is a man who is fully self-satisfied. Correct? Okay? Even a sage like that, Muni like that, Nirgranti. Nirgranti means he has no attachments. No way attached to this world. Still that person, Api, even then, Urukrame. Urukrame means Krishna, who does wonderful activity. Krama means activity, Uru means great activity. Still that person, Kurvanti Ahituki Bhakti, he, he does devotion to Uru Krama. Even that person is fully self satisfied. Why? Itham Bhuta Guru Hari. Hari's qualities are so good. Even if a man you find was so self satisfied, there may be a self satisfied man. Now, this Chaitanya Puddha has so many explanations. Take a simple meaning. A self satisfied man they are referring to like Shubhade Goswami or the four Kumaras. They had achieved Brahmananda. They have no material desires, no Nirgrata, they are completely Nirgrata. But still, even after that, when they come in, came in contact with Krishna, they surrendered to Krishna. Okay? So that is the meaning of this verse. Even though somebody is fully self-satisfied, if he comes in contact with Krishna, he surrenders. Why? Ittam Bhuta Guru Hari. Krishna's quality is so enchanting. There is something I want to uh, add here. Very nice things are said. He says, whenever we uh, learn, we should not say, I know this. Learning means, if the learning process is working, I didn't know this. Correct? Just like Shrakar said, Saramata Charya, how is the learning from Chaitanya I didn't know this. Otherwise, you're not learning. You know, many times when somebody says, ah, I know. And I know means it's a waste of time. If you know the word, you use it. I didn't know this. But similarly, even person is self-satisfied when he sees Krishna's wonderful quality. I didn't know this. It's like even in Krishna consciousness. In the beginning stage, you go through the information stage. That's okay. But what is that is also goes through. I didn't know this. We didn't know there is Narayana. We didn't know there are Vishnu. We didn't know all this things. Correct? We didn't know. We get information on Krishna. Then next is what is really important. One by one, uh, the taste for devotion service starts out. So, it's chanting. It's so pleasurable. I didn't know this. That is your progress is going on, correct? Now you go to the school, now which class you are in? Fourth. Fourth class. Now you go to fifth class, teacher teaches something. I know that, I know. Teacher says, then what is the use of my teaching? You know everything, correct? Good teacher means he teaches something. I didn't know this. So you know, you come back home very nice, correct? 
the spiritual life also same thing should be there learning means and then you feel very satisfied otherwise what is the use here you open a book and you read i know this then what is the use of reading okay. so first thing is actually information but that's okay not a very big deal but when you start actually having the pleasure either of chanting or hearing krishna katha i didn't know it is so sweet i thought it is this much sweet but when it goes better just like you go from a train from here to delhi you see i didn't know why you're looking because you're not seeing that so our spiritual advancement also should be day by day i didn't know it is so sweet to so much you and now you know this much next day i'll be a sincere you go to more sweet huh? it is so sweet i didn't know this so the you know in the beginning uh, philosophy over then the sweetness of krishna right, which opens out deeper in you so now this is the aparama verse is a famous verse and even though he may know all uh, those who are self satisfied and unattracted to unattracted external material desires are also attracted to the loving service of shri krishna whose quality the transcendental or activity the wonderful hari the personality god it is called krishna because he has such transcendentally attractive features krishna is so attractive that is the whole essence of this is the famous verse from bhagavatam i just started reading and now you ಭಾಗವತಾಚಾರ್ಯಾಕಾರ್ಯಾಕಾರ್ಯಾಕಾರ್ಯಾಕಾರ್ಯಾಕಾರ್ಯಾಕಾರ್ಯಾಕಾರ
You are exactly like Prahaspati, the priest of the heavenly kingdom. Indeed, no one within this world has the power to explain the scripture in such a way. Nobody can do that. Chaitanya Mahaguru has given a certificate now. You are like Prahaspati. Kintu dhumi artha kaila panditya pradivaya ihavai shokara ache aro adhikaya. Pradiya Bhattacharya, you certainly explain this verse by a progress of your vast learning. But you should know that. Beside this scholarly explanation, there is another purport to this verse. Bhattacharya Prathanat, Bhattacharya Prathanat, Prabhu Rakya Kaila, Tana Nava Artama De Ekana Chunila. This is in Bengali. Upon the request of Sarah Bhattacharya, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to explain the verse without touching upon the nine explanations given by Bhattacharya. Imagine they are both are great scholars. Atma Rama Chashoke, Atma Rama Chashoke, Ekadasha Padahaya, Pritak Pritak Kaila Padera Artha Nishaya. There are eleven words in the Atma Rama verse, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained each word one after another. And he actually made at one time 64 explanations by this. That happens in another place, description, which he had, uh, which is going to happen now later. Here, Chaitanya explains at this moment certain explanation. The words in Atana words are Atmarama, Cha, Muneha, Nirganta, Abhi, Urukarme, Kuruvati, Ejjati, Pantim, Eta, Mutu, Guru, Kari, in the whole verse. Tata, Tata, Pada, Pradhanya, Atmarama, Vilana, Ashtadasha, Arta, Kaila, Adi, Prayalana. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took each word specifically and combined it with the word Atmanama. It is explained the word Atmanama in 80 different ways without touching the meaning of Saravattacharya. I just read the translation. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality God in different potencies and transcendent qualities. All have incurs in prowess. It is not possible to explain them fully. These three items attract the mind of a perfect student engaged in spiritual activities and overcome all other processes of spiritual activities. Okay, what are the three things? Supreme Personality Godhead and His Transcendental Potencies and His Transcendental Qualities. Krishna is uh, His Potency and His Qualities. So these three actually enchant the mind of anybody. That's what he is saying. And overcome all of the process of spiritual activity. Okay, I just read the purport and I am making a summary for it, but today we can finish it. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained the meaning of the words by giving evidence concerning Shukadeva Goswami and the four Rishis, Sanaka Sanat Kumara, Sanadana, and Sanadana. They are the four brothers. Thus, Lord gave various meanings and explanations. Upon hearing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's explanation of Atmana of Sana Bhattacharya was struck with wonder. This you can understand. You know why? Just like you're a doctor, you see another great doctor, you can understand. This is exception. So Sana Bhattacharya is a great scholar. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained it 18 ways, he could understand. This is superhuman. You know? He is like a, he is himself a credible scholar. Nobody can do this. You know? In his own way, he understood. And the Lord is standing here. There are so many times that there was one person called Jambavan in Krishna Lila. You know that? The same thing happened, he started fighting with Krishna. You know? And he is a great devotee of Lord Rama. You know? And he was there in Lord Rama's Lila. And then what happened? He started fighting for that uh, money. So what is the name of the money? Shamantaka. Okay? He started fighting with Krishna. And then finally all his body became, you know, really devastated. He can't just fight. Then he understood because he knows in his own way. He knows who can fight with him. Huh? This must be my Lord Rama only. He understood. The same way Sana Bhattacharya also in his own way understood this must be the Supreme Lord. Now, this is not possible otherwise. To be Krishna in person, that is condemned himself in the following verse. Now he started condemning himself. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and you know also he has done devotion service right from the day one when he died. Therefore, that has built him, brought him to because Krishna will not intervene so easily. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is certainly Lord Krishna himself. Because I could not understand him and was very proud of my learning, I have committed many offenses. Now he is feeling I have done great aparada. Even in Bhagavad Gita, when Krishna shows Vishwarupa to Arjuna, Arjuna, oh, wow, Krishna, I have done so much aparada. I just use so many languages. Hey Krishna, like I say so many things to you. 
like that, you know, he also feels. When Swamabhattacharya denounced himself as an offender and took shelter of the Lord, the Lord desired to show him mercy. So he was condemning himself and took shelter of the Lord. Chidamaru was very pleased. Already was pleased because he was always so polite for serving him in so many ways. And he actually gave shelter to Lord Chaitanya Jagannath Puri, made arrangements for his stay, everything he was doing. So Chaitanya gave him mercy. To show him mercy, she did this exception. That's very rarely Chaitanya used to do. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu allowed him to see his Vishnu form. Thus, he immediately assumed four hands. Sri Chaitanya first showed him the four handed form, then appeared before him in the original form of Krishna with a blackish complexion and flew to his lips. Then he showed him the Krishna form. When Sonabhattacharya saw the form, Lord Krishna manifested in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He immediately fell down, fled to offer obeisances. Then he stood up with folded hand and began to offer prayers. By the mercy of the Lord, all truth was revealed to Sarva Bhattachari, and he could understand the importance of chanting the holy name and distributing love of God in everywhere. Sarva Bhattachari composed 100 verses in a very short time. Indeed, not even Brahaswati, the priest of the heavenly planets, could compose verses. I told you one of the verses yesterday. Now, Prabhupada is saying there is a book called Sushloka Shataka, where these 100 verses are there. After hearing the 100 verses, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu happily embraced Sarma Bhattacharya, but immediately overwhelmed with ecstatic love for God and fell unconscious. Now he came to the stage of Prema. Prema stage, all these things happened. Out of ecstatic love for God, Bhattacharya shed tears, his body was stunned, he exhibited an ecstatic mood, and it was bad, shook and trembled. He sometimes danced, sometimes chanted, sometimes cried, sometimes fell down to touch the lotus feet of the Lord. When Sarva Bhattacharya was in the ecstasy, Gopinath Acharya, his cousin, who was already a great devotee, was very pleased. The associates of Sri Chaitanya who all laughed to see Bhattacharya dance. You see, they are not envious, they are so happy. They are seeing Krishna mercy on them. Gopinath Acharya told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sir, you have brought all this upon Sarva Bhattacharya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, You are a devotee. Because of your association, Lord Jagannatha has shown him mercy. Never Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I have done it. Always he was in the mood of, mood of a devotee. The Jagannatha has been kind to him. After the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu pacified Bhattacharya, and when he was quieted, he offered many prayers to the Lord. Sarva Bhattacharya said, My dear sir, you have delivered the entire world, but that was not a very great task. How you have delivered me, and that is certainly a work of a very wonderful power. I have done it, I had become done at it due to reading too many books on logic. Consequently, I have become like an iron bar. Nevertheless, you have melted me, and therefore your influence is very great. You saw in Jagannath Puri the stone that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fell, that impression, and his impression. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu once uh, falls on a stone, and the stone <laughs> gets the impression of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because of his intensity. The stone melts. Okay? You have the impression. What is the impression? Okay. okay. We will also go one day and see. Yeah, I don't know. After hearing the prayers offered as one of Bhattacharya, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu returned to his residence. And the Bhattacharya, through Gopinath Acharya, induced the Lord to accept lunch there. Early in the next following morning, Sri Chaitanya went to see Lord Jagannatha in the temple and saw the Lord rise from his bed. The priest there presented him with a garland and, and the prasada that had been offered to Lord Jagannatha. This pleased Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu very much. You see now. She carefully tying prasada and garlands in a cloth, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu hastened to the house of Sarma Bhattacharya. He arrived at the Bhattacharya's house little before sunrise, just when the Bhattacharya was arising from the bed. That's always a waiting culture. People get up before sunrise. Yeah. Today, who has seen sunrise? Only they see sunset. They go to ocean and see sunset. Correct? <laughs> Anybody knows what is sunrise? Previously, everybody used to know sunrise. As Sarah Bhattacharya arose from the bed, he distinctly chanted, Krishna, Krishna. Now he's completely changed. Lord Chaitanya was very pleased to hear him chant the holy name of Krishna. He watched it. He got up and said, Krishna, Krishna. I think I'm fully a devotee. 
Bhattacharya Bhattacharya Sri Chaitanya was outside and great haste he went to and offered prayers unto his brother's way. Bhattacharya offered a carpet for the Lord to sit upon and both of them sat there. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu opened the prasad and placed in the hand of Bhattacharya. At the time Bhattacharya had not even washed his mouth, nor had he taken his bath or finished his morning duty. Nothing, just got up from the bed. Nevertheless, he was very pleased to receive the prasada of Lord Jagannath. It's now completely in a different way. By the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the dullness in the mind of Sarana Bhattacharya eradicated. After reciting the following two verses, they ate the prasada offered to him. What did he say? You should also know this. Bhattacharya said, One should eat the Mahaprasada of the Lord immediately upon receiving it. Even though it is dried up, stale, or brought from a distant country, one should consider neither time nor place. True, Vaishnavas, we eat only Krishna or Vishnu Prasadam. We generally, we depend on the mercy of Krishna. We are not so eager to get Devata Prasadam. But generally in India, Prasadam has a value. Okay? At least that much people know. The prasad of Lord Krishna is to be eaten by a gentleman as soon as it is received. There should be no hesitation. There is no regulatory principle concerning time and place. This is the order of the Supreme Personality of Order. These two verses are quoted from Padma Purana. He is a scholar, knows everything. Sri Chaitanya was very pleased to see this. He became ecstatic in love of God and embraced Saravatacharya. The Lord and the servant embraced each other and began to dance. Simply by touching each other, they became ecstatic. As they danced and embraced, spiritual symptoms manifested in their body. They perspired, trembled, shed tears, and the Lord began to speak in ecstasy. Krishna is also so happy when he became a devotee. Okay? So, Jivya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Today I have conquered the three worlds very easily. Today I have ascended to the spiritual world. He is feeling so happy that he has become such a nice devotee. Prabhupada's purpose. The goal of human perfection is stated here in brief. One has to surpass all the planetary systems of the mental universe, pierce to the covering of the universe, and reach the spiritual world known as Vaikunda Loka. The Vaikunda Lokas are variety of spiritual planets situated in the Lord's impersonal bodily effulgence known as Brahma Jyoti. One may aspire to be elevated to the heavenly planet in the metal world such as Moon, Sun, or Venus. And if one is spiritually advanced in Krishna consciousness, does not wish to remain within the material universe, even in the half planetary system, but rather he prefers to penetrate the covering of the universe and attain the spiritual world, he can then be situated in one of the vacant planets. There, however, the devotees under the guidance of the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu aspire to reach the topmost spiritual planet known as Goloka Vrindavana, the residence of Lord Sri Krishna and his eternal associates. That is the confidential revelation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Generally, in others, Vaishnava uh, Sampradaya, they really wanted to welcome to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued, I think today all my desires have been fulfilled because I see that Sarma Bhattacharya has acquired faith in Mahaprasada of Lord Jagannatha. Indeed, today we have undoubtedly taken shelter of the Lord of Spirit of Krishna and Krishna without reservation. I become very merciful to you. My dear Bhattacharya, today I have been released from the mental bondage and bodily consumption of life. Cut to pieces of the shackles of the illusory energy. Today, your mind has become fit to take shelter of the Lotus Spirit of Krishna. You are surpassing the Vedic regulatory principles, eat in the remnants of food offered to the Lord. Okay, and here, Shri Prabhupada Ki, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki, Shri Chaitanya Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Ki. Okay.